Welcome to our speaker interview series at MDX 2019 here in Austin, Texas. Joining us now is David Schaefer. David Schaefer began his marketing career in 2009 at a small grocery chain. Over the course of the next few years, his vast knowledge of direct and digital marketing helped to grow the company tenfold. Although spending a majority of his career in the retail space, in 2017, David joined the National Business Institute, a provider of continuing professional education. As the marketing manager for NBI, he is responsible for vendor contracts, database management, direct mail marketing, data analytics, and business and strategic planning, as well as a more recent focus on web design and management and content development. David has seen the marketing landscape change vastly over the course of his career and has been able to tackle challenges concerning segmentation, personalization, and analytics. David is also a freelance marketing consultant for a variety of companies acting as an extension of their marketing teams. Outside of NBI, David is dedicated to spending time with his wife, Amanda, and their four young children. Welcome, David. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So how can marketers make sure that they are not using the same monotonous strategies over and over again to achieve results? Sure. Oh, that's a great question. And I mean, obviously, with the way that the market's going and everything changing in the market recently, I think one of the biggest questions that comes up is, how do I adapt to it? Where do I best spend not only my dollars, but my mm -hmm. time, my resources, uh, my people's time? And I think one of the big things that you have to be very cautious of mm -hmm. is not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the whole entire saying that, I, that gets a bad rap for good reasons most of the time, but it actually has some pretty good validity to it is why do you do things this way? Well, it's the way we've always done it. Well, one thing that comes from that, though, is, is that it, you're doing it because it's successful or you're not going to be in business anymore. Your mm -hmm. marketing efforts just won't succeed. So one thing that I really that I have learned from this process and from going through this is testing. You test everything that you do. Mm -hmm. So there's so many options out there. There's so many different ways to do it. Mm -hmm. And a big win typically takes a big risk. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure you test that group small. But a small win typically is a small risk. So you test that group a little more evenly, so you go mm -hmm. more 50-50 with that. But with a big win, when you're gonna when you can generate a big change, you really only need sometimes five to ten percent, depending mm -hmm. on your sample size. So I think that the really the biggest thing is is testing away testing to the new big success is really the way to do it and not losing everything that you've done. Interesting. So you started out at a small grocery store chain and yeah. you're now the marketing manager at NBI yeah. and also a marketing consultant to other con other companies. Yeah. Um, what are some differences that you notice with regards to marketing products? Yeah. So going from what I like to call the most public business in the world, because <laughs> everybody eats, everybody buy gro <laughs> buys groceries. Yes. Um, I went to a business that we're National Business Institute mm -hmm. and it's very confusing because we actually saw continuing legal education as our main focus. So our main focus is attorney-based attorney -based business, but we're National Business Institute. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest changes that came from it was we went to a full-blown, um, I'm nationwide now, mm -hmm. whereas before I was dealing with 26 different markets up and down the western side of Wisconsin. Now we're marketing to people from Florida to Alaska and mm -hmm. everybody in between. So getting the feel for how do you market to that was a big change. And then the other big change was starting to understand how do you market to attorneys versus, you know, the people that are typically buying groceries, mm -hmm. which is a pretty big group of people. Obviously, right, it's right, not yeah. it's not just Susie Homemaker anymore, you know, mm -hmm. as the old term goes. It's a large group of people. So in here, in this world, we've really started to work on the segmentation piece and trying to learn who our customers are. So with so many current trends going on in the marketing world, how do you advise marketers to balance their offline and their online marketing efforts? Yeah, absolutely. So between offline and online marketing, it's always a big struggle. Mm -hmm. And typically with your marketing departments that have been established for a long time, they've learned to um, rely very heavily on direct marketing efforts, mm -hmm. on your typical print, your TV, your radio, those traditional medias. Right. So trying to start to transition off of those medias mm -hmm. and onto the digital media because you can get so much more for your dollar, but not walking away completely from that direct because direct doesn't go away. Direct is always going to be there. Direct mail, direct mm -hmm. in with the mailbox is getting less crowded. It's going to be there even more going forward. So I think it's really important that you're focusing on um, where you're driving the most return for your dollars, understanding how your spend is cuts compared to your uh, purchases. 
Interesting. So what should, would be your advice to small company uh, marketing managers and directors as to how they can grow themselves and apply some of those maybe larger company tactics yeah, to their business? Yeah. So to me, it's not about, I mean, I work with companies that are spending just four or 500 bucks a month on mm -hmm. advertising up to, you know, I mean, at MBI, we've got a huge budget, a multi-million dollar budget that we're mm -hmm. spending. But really, the concepts don't change, it's just the scale of it changes. Mm -hmm. So finding those things that work, testing into them, knowing who your customer is, mm -hmm. is really, really important. The other thing I would really stress is, don't be afraid to admit what you don't know and mm -hmm. go learn it. Um, I've spent a lot of time this the last couple of years learning about database management mm -hmm. and things like that because that's the opportunity that you can really get to strengthen your career, to broaden, to make you a more valuable uh, asset for your company. Very interesting. Good stuff. Thank you yeah, so much, Dave. I awesome. really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.